I don't agree with the finding that we're losing it. We've got a very good track record of defeating tax avoidance schemes. And the National Audit Office, who looked into this last year, found that we have driven mainstream advisors in particular out of the avoidance market. But it is the case that there's a hard core, a small hard core, of firms who are persisting in selling schemes which are of increasingly poor quality uh, to the public. And we are making all the efforts that we can to steer people well away from these dubious schemes. Uh, well, you say it's a small hardcore, but a, according to the Public Affairs Committee, it, it represents about £5 billion in income. That's a huge amount of money. £5 billion is a lot of money. Just to put it in context, it's about 1% of all the tax that HMRC collects each year. Uh, but we are uh, well aware of what these schemes are. We are well aware of who's promoting them and who's using them. And we do actively investigate them, uh, close them down, advise ministers to make legislation if that's what's required. You will know that this will irritate uh, an awful lot of regular taxpayers who will feel that they're persecuted for the odd 20, 30, 100 pounds that's unpaid in their tax bill, and yet they will see it as people who should be paying tens, hundreds of thousands of pounds as wriggling off the hook. How do you respond to those kind of people? You're absolutely right that the vast majority of people pay their taxes voluntarily and they expect HMRC to clamp down on those who don't and that is precisely what we do. In the case of tax avoiders we are uh, taking them to court very regularly. We win about 85% of all the cases that we take to court and we expect them to pay the tax and interest and penalties if necessary. Uh, is naming and shaming these individuals the right way to go though because technically they haven't broken any law have they? HMRC does name avoidance schemes that have failed and we do name the promoters who push these schemes as part of our effort to warn people to steer well clear of them. Uh, we also publicise the names of taxpayers who don't concede these schemes and who uh, we have to take to court. Uh, so it is part of what we do.